Juliet Honan spoke to Ed Solomon, the wordsmith behind Men in Black, to find out if writing the biggest movie of the summer has earned him any respect. Writers like actresses remain on the lowest rung of the Hollywood ladder. So what can the writers of this summer's hit movies stand to gain from their success? Ed Solomon, who wrote Men in Black, let us into his world to find out. How has Men in Black helped your career, or what, what has happened as a result of Men in Black being so successful? People actually, for some strange reason, have more faith in me as a writer. So my word carries more currency. I have a little bit more of an ability to tell people to just trust me, to say, please give me a few weeks of space to just do what I do. And people will go, I think we should just let him do what he does. And because they trust me more, I take that trust and I, you know, I work harder. As a screenwriter, you always have to argue your point. You can never just win by default. A director can say, don't like it. And you can say, but, 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 and he goes, find something else. Producers can go, Oh, we're not sure why, but we don't like it. You know, see if you can do better. The studio can go, well, we, we feel that this needs to be different. Either do it or we'll hire someone else. And you can fight and you can fight and you can fight as a writer, but you don't have any automatic <laughs> chance to win. There's a couple things I want you to understand. First off, you chose me, so you recognize the skills. And I don't want nobody calling me son or kid or sport or nothing like that. Cool? Cool. Whatever you say, Slick. You actually have the sole credit on Men in Black, but I understand there were some other people who came in and out. Can you sort of tell me a little bit of the trials and tribulations <laughs> of writing that screenplay? On Men in Black, I was fired five times officially. At one point, I actually said to my agent, tell them if they fire me one more time, I'm quitting from this movie because I'm not going to like suffer this humiliation any longer. There was a lot of uh, discussion about the tone of the film. I always felt very strongly the movie had to be a comedy, had to have a certain kind of tone. Put up your arms and all you flippers. A lot of people felt it should be more serious. I felt always it should be more comedic and sometimes we disagreed with how comedic it should be. Barry Sonnenfeld, I think, really handled that tone really well and brought a lot to it. So how many writers altogether were there on this? Five. Five writers? In Five, including me. Uh, I did, out of maybe 20, 25 drafts, I did probably 19 or 20 of them. And then in the middle, there was Dave Cab. This is the guy who did Jurassic Park, The Lost World. The character of Laura Weaver, who plays the medical examiner, uh, I had originally written her as an entomologist, uh, a bug expert. And Dave made her a coroner, which I thought was a great, great idea. Out of Men in Black, you're writing X-Men for Brian Singer. The franchise has been around for about 33 years, so it's, uh, it's got a lot of material to consolidate into one motion picture, conceptually. So I'm writing the first draft, and we go through it sort of every few scenes. I'll read stuff to Brian, or Brian will come in. I'll look at the map, what's going on, talk about it. I sort of type it in, sort of script pages. I'll start to kind of make notes on them. I wrote a uh, new dialogue for here. T means trim, B means just better, M which means more, F which means try and make it funnier. I had a producer say to me that I was committing career suicide by doing a movie like this off of Men in Black. Why don't I do a Men in Black type film just scaled down, you know, because that's what everyone want, uh, wants me for, he said. And I said, well, I, I did a Men in Black type film. It's called Men in Black. I did not expect having a successful film would in any way make me a better writer. The only way that it does is that People trust me a little bit more. 